Hello everyone and welcome to another community async restream. This is the 26th one. We have got a champion's Ganon hunt, which is uh, a take on the champion's hunt, which is the Triforce pieces are locked in very particular spots and you need to get two of them and then go talk to a dude and you win. But in this one, instead, you got to get those two out of three Triforce pieces and then you go beat up Ganon. Yeah, so, no talking to dudes this time. No talking to dudes, unless they have items like the Bottle Vendor Sicket or, or Sob. Right, right. Um, if you're wondering whose voice this is, oh my gosh, it's Gilgamesh. That's me. Join it in, says it right down there on the, on the hook lane. Thank you so much for hopping in. I figure... Yeah, I'm definitely not here to dunk on any one particular person. <laughs> <in this. laughs> um, We got Pool Float on the right. And we all know Pool Flow. He's been around for a while. And we got Talon on the left, who I think this is their... First time on the restream, second time running a, a seat, I believe. And they've done a couple of them. I I, I gave Talon the uh Talon wasn't in your Discord, but I gave him the the spreadsheet a while back because he was curious about it. And I, I think he's run a bunch of them, but maybe not has re not recorded all his times. Maybe, you know? maybe. Um but yeah, Talon is part of Gilgamesh's league team and the new season of League is starting up, so yes. this is one of the invitational modes. level play from Talon. Yeah. It's a top <laughs> level. And this is one of the modes that's going to be showing up for leagues, so that's why we're, we're throwing it in here. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be uh, running trackers for both people, so if I mess up, please, please yell at me. Please do! Um, we're going to have uh, Ninja Gaiden MSU on uh, Pool Float side for this, so let's begin. So the... Uh gotta refresh my memory because i don't remember this code that well so triforce pieces your options are either pedestal uh pyramid fairy or somewhere in gt basement i believe yes so already out the bat we have like a green pendant at eastern i think that was red desert and um just a regular crystal a regular at crystal Tower Mirror. Yeah. yep so that's already two pieces of information yeah, that's super helpful in this mode. I, I did this once or twice when it was on ladder a couple seasons ago, I think. Um, it was an interesting mode. I, I wish I had done a little bit more of it. I I had both, or, I don't know, I finished one of them in like 47, 47 minutes, and I was like, okay, this mode's great. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I did a, before the Ganon hunt aspect was added, I did a champion's hunt that I beat in 42 minutes, and I was like, oh, yeah. dang, that was quick. Because, I mean... Um, it's it's a pretty simple mode. I, I I noticed that items tend to show up pretty early in the game, so mm -hmm. but you still need X number of items, and also right. big keys are shuffled. So and it, now you also need swords, which you didn't need prior. Yeah, which uh, helps with the starting sword. So you only need to find one extra sword out of you know, the three extra ones that are going to be in the pool. Mm -hmm. So that that shouldn't add too much extra searches. Hopefully. Um, Talon going straight to escape here, which yeah, is... I like it. You got I a sword, a you got boots. Divergence. I don't think it's a bad idea. I mean, when you have sword, we have, you have an easy way to get to cell to cell. This is, a, this is an easy call to make. Um, a little shocked Pool Flow didn't make it. Make the same play, but the only time I would see someone potentially want to put that off is in case... It's a seed that forces you to do an Aga play, and you can combine it all in mm -hmm. one trip. And uh, especially with a starting sword and boots, something at Lumberjack I feel like has a higher priority of being useful. Not this time, though. Yeah, and I kind of like doing, at least from the few seeds of this I have played, or, well, not this particular mode, but the original uh, Champions hunt. Um, I kind of like doing as much overworld and non- dungeon stuff as possible first, because you, you don't really know what your win con's going to be yet, and you have to be kind of flexible and willing to change your win con midstream too, depending on what items come up, so mm -hmm. I like getting as much info as to what dungeons you have clearable first before committing to anything crazy. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be double-dipping in any dungeon if, if you can help it, and I feel like that doesn't happen as much compared to, like, a full key sanity, where the small keys and map compass and all that are shuffled. Mm -hmm. um, 
But yeah, I, I, I do wonder how the seed is going to play out. The fun part about this mode is also, like, you at the start of the seed, you really don't know what your win condition is going to be. Is it going to be, you know, pedestal, triforce piece plus pyramid fairy? Or is it going to be, which I think arguably is the worst one, is scouting out Ganon's tower? Yes, for sure. I think I think pedestal pyramid fairy is probably your best case scenario. Yeah, that for sure. Oh, we got a moon pearl here in blind's hut. We got a glove as oh okay. Home. Imagine you were right. You just get everything up front and a hammer. Okay, well let's just start well, world access. Okay. <laughs> well, so now now this is interesting, right? Do you, you can you can go clear thieves town right now, and that's potentially one step of the way towards whatever your goal is, but you also don't know what Thieves Town is yet, so... Mm -hmm. It's a it's an interesting situation, because it's like, you want the unique crystals and dungeon prizes. You don't want it to just right. be a regular blue crystal, but when you have a full clearable blue crystal dungeon, you're like, eh, do I really want to do this right now? Because, like, I could yeah. find nothing, and then it's like, do I, I don't know, do I want to push for the GT play? I think it depends on what your other red crystal is, right? Like, I mean, if you look at your map in the Dark World and you see TR as your other red crystal, you're more willing to do those blue crystals. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like you were saying, the uh, the best outcome is the red getting the red crystals for one Triforce piece and getting the three pennants for the the second one and never having to dive into GT. Mm -hmm. I think the the secondary one that you want. Oh, hold on! First big key going to be the Palace of Darkness here at the Bottle Vendor. Uh, is the if you can get five crystals with two of them being the red crystals that's like yes that's I think second obviously best. second best and then the worst is all three pennants and five crystals and then five, from yeah that's a nightmare <laughs> hey wow easy sword oh well we have two swords do we have full dark world access we have i mean okay I mean, like, I'm say like I've said, from the seeds of these I've played, it does feel like items tend to be a little bit front-loaded. And then, you know, you're spending however long looking for that last big key or, uh, you know, that medallion or the fire, you know, something right. like that. Yeah, the big keys play a, a pretty big role in figuring out your path to the end of this, too, because you're like, okay, well, I have, you know big keys to Eastern and Pod, do I, am I just gonna, like, try to find a bow before I do any, go into any other dungeons, or do I want to just ignore those dungeons? You know, it's it's a lot of routing decision making mm -hmm. in this, and it's, you know, nothing is technically wrong, but it's, for some seeds, it's not gonna not gonna work out. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's, it's a fun mode because you're always adapting on the fly. Mm -hmm. Uh, based on just the next item, the next progression item you get, the next big key you get, you can make those decisions. And I think it makes for a pretty interesting mode, just because you, know, you don't know which what the runners are going to do <laughs> next. Right, yeah. And uh, as long as it's a seed that actually lets you have options, because there's definitely seeds with like a reduced crystal count or reduced goal that's just like no you literally can only do these these things and then that's it right. there's no divergence yeah. aside from like skipping random overworld okay, those cool. gonna go straight in here all right those bug me a little bit i like getting the info here as soon as possible so this is mm -hmm. good and admire and then swamp and i think that was a red ice ice, ice palace yep okay, so ahead. we are not too far away from being able to do both red crystals here. We're not too far from go mode, is what you're saying. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. One big key. Yeah, just, uh, you know, throw us some... Well, hmm. This is, a, this is an interesting point now. Because now you have all your info. Wow, that's a terrible hype key. <laughs> My I mean, listen, pendant. we just got full Dark World access and blind so What do you want? Rag... That's fair, I guess. So at this point, you'd be looking at your, your dungeons. You're like, okay, Eastern, so I need a bow. Uh, swamp, I just need a Flipper's Mirror Hookshot. Okay, well. I need, Yeah, Not Eastern, quite, of course, you yeah. need a big key. Uh, Mire, you know, you need Mitz, Flute, maybe another Medallion, Samari, and a big key, and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot <laughs> of stuff. are not looking great. Yeah, I, I'm definitely looking at the Red Crystals right now because, you know, Mitz gets you... 
Ice Palace, and then you just need the Desert Big Key. Well, in the book, hmm. This is, yeah, this is kind of an awkward uh, configuration of dungeons mm -hmm. for this mode. I guess it'd be easier to look and be like, alright, what can I do now? Because we can't actually beat Thieves Town, we can only do the front. Right, that's right, you do need the big key, yeah. So we have front of Body Surd, front of Thieves, front of Skull. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna see a back of Escape here on uh, Tail Inside while uh, Cool Floats do a little diggy do. Gets another big key. Oh? Am I about to eat my words? Nope, that is Turtle Rock. rock. Ugh, no. <laughs> All right, Escape has been basically completely trash here. Yeah, it really has, aside from money and a fire shield. Oh, boy. And yeah, I'm, I agree with Pool here and just doing some more overworld stuff, trying to yeah, get another yeah. couple items and figure something out here. I also am of the opinion that I, I you know, even if you get early Dark World axis, you do a little Dark World, then you go do some more Light World. Yeah. So you just don't want to isolate something in the Light World for too long, because it could spell death and destruction. Sure could. Another interesting point uh, is that these modes have the possibility, with uh, GT being less than seven crystals to get into, being five, uh, that there is a possibility that you could find progression for other dungeons within GT. It's not mm -hmm. just going to be junk build and then the Triforce piece. Yeah, you're hoping that's not the case, but yeah, yeah. for now. All right, so hair a big key for pool there. That's nice. I mean, that's, that's the worst beetle... case scenario. You get like uh, Eastern big in, in uh, GT, and you're like, well, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On one hand. I, I I feel like I like that aspect of it, but I feel like GT needs to have like one less crystal requirement or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I ha I haven't played enough of these to really know like how often you're gonna find actual progression in GT that matters. Yeah, I haven't either. Nice temperate sword here at the mini Moldron cave, so we are already pretty strong. Just now, got to work on our health and defense up to five hearts on full float side still on blue mail we got top here a big key for tailing as we're heading over to ice rock cave so we still have what east palace area sequence break up the mountain for a couple we still have agonist yeah. cave sitting there i mean we have a bunch of dark world stuff still too you know front of skull woods front of thieves town voo yeah, I might fish eat, uh... pyramid ledge I know, I pod <laughs> Ooh, what do we got misery mire Another okay. big key. I'm starting to stack up a little bit. Yeah, this is more big keys than I'm used to seeing early in a seed like this. Playing too much cross keys lately. It's, <laughs> you right. know, you don't get any you don't get any big keys the first hour of those. <laughs> big keys. Okay. It's like cool trying to set up a double water walk here. Good opportunity. It's not very often you actually get to utilize the double water walk, so it's uh, it's kind of nice. Though this might just be a water walk to go to to exit out of the the hobo check instead. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Though I mean, I guess you could fake flip her out of here again and not use the water walk and still keep it stored. Yeah, that I, is yeah, a you could. What do we got out of logic? A heart container. Heart. I love it. Show healthy. Water walk is such a, a cool trick. I mean, I when it first got discovered, it was like early game routing just blew my mind. So I was like, yeah, I also watched. setting up the double water walk. I know I, I didn't know didn't know Talon to be a double water walk guy. I, I don't know. I like the idea of using, utilizing it to run back from Bobo. Nice hook shot. Out Ooh, of logic. that's spicy. Okay, so now the mountain's looking pretty good. Yeah, the tough part about mountain though is like, do you hold off for mitts maybe at first? <sighs> maybe. Otherwise, I mean, I'm guessing you, like our. Ooh. Well, now you want. Now you can double <laughs> water walk, right? I am guessing our flippers are just in the eastern area somewhere. 
potentially. Well, I, well, I have full Dark World access too, so maybe not. Mm. The, the interesting situation is like, okay, you sequence broke hookshot. You can now sequence break of the mountain if you want. Go check everything on East Death Mountain, you know, hopefully find like the lamp or a fire rod or something. And then you could go up and full clear blue crystal tower para if you want. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if that's the route you want to go, but I, I do kind of agree getting maybe getting the mitts before going up the mountain would be nice. Um I, you don't want to go too far out of logic. For sure. It's, uh, though I, I feel like, well, yeah, because not only would you be sequence breaking the lamp, but you'd also be sequence breaking the flippers. Right. Um, which... And you might be sequence breaking your flute, which you don't tell you, potentially, yeah. which is also dangerous given that we might want to be doing mire here. Ooh, so. oh, that's oh, a really good mire. find for Talon. So, Talon yeah. was able to check Zora just because of the extra 300 that was in Zelda cell. So, it is good that there is the big key on Zora Ledge, because that will pull Pool pull Flow back over there for at sure. some point. Yeah, and, I mean, Samaria doesn't really do anything for us at this moment. You know, oh, we just makes Ice Palace a lot nicer once we get those mitts, though. Yeah, find the mitts, go to Ice. Don't need that big key, easy. There's never been anything in the big chest of Ice Pals. Never. No. Alright, secret's breaking up the mountain. It's 20 bucks off the old man. And saves and quits. I wonder if the dead rock was... I think you might have been able to go around the bottom of them. Maybe? Didn't want to Didn't want to bottle it. it yeah, I feel this is not that much slower than waiting for the dead rock timer anyway, I don't Probably. think. I, I would have been, I would have just sat there and been mad about the dead rock instead of saving and quitting, so. <laughs> good heads up there from Pool Float. I, don't I mean, think... we got we got Quake, we can kill dead rocks. It's true. Though, not one we're they're... already yeah. frozen. So this is interesting. Talon hasn't checked the Dark World map yet, but is heading up to the Pyramid. I like this play when you start with Boots, Pyramid Ledge Catfish. As your hype cave here and look catfish as your opening dark world route because it gets a lot of the out of the way checks that other people will tend to put off. Oh. Hey, and there you go. <laughs> right. There's the lamp. Uh, I don't agree with Alan not checking the map though. That is uh, not agree. Uh, it's uh, for me. I would be a little hesitant about going to catfish just because I already been to Zora area. So I'd be like, man, if I can hold off until I, like, okay, find this is a or find, uh, oh my gosh. We got big keys for Eastern and Desert here in Paradox Cave. Stacking them up. don't think I like going to pod here. The early pod play following that lamp that Talon just got. I don't, um, we don't have a bow? If we had a bow, I could see this, but man, I don't know. You're dipple, dip, dipple? dipple? Uh, <laughs> potentially double dipping pod here. True, uh, but it is a blue crystal. It's true. If you're just gonna write off pod altogether and be like, I'm never touching this again after this, mm -hmm. this is maybe not that bad. It, it's, it's definitely a play worth considering. Like, I don't care about this dungeon anymore. I yeah, don't want to see it ever again. We have the big key, so we can get literally everything except for Helma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... We do have potions if you want a potion glitch to get to right side, or if you want a mimic clip, that's also an option. Uh, we did see on Pool Float side a couple of the overworld spots. The spectacle rock item was just a hard container, and the floating island up on East Death Mountain was just a single arrow. So, two things you don't have to worry about. So I think, well, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, I think mitts and a mirror would just open up a ton of stuff for us mm -hmm. to do yeah. at this point. Pull the doors clean right off. So that would be desert, that would be mire, that would be ice palace. Oh, speak of the well, devil. Well, okay, there you wow. go. <laughs> That's a really good find. Huh, okay, so now Pool's choices are very interesting at this point. I mean, ice palaces being a red crystal looks very good here. Mm hmm. 
The other nice thing about this mode is with only the binky shuffle out of dungeons, or I mean, amongst the dungeons, you know, there is the one additional item in every dungeon minus Hyrule Castle, but mm -hmm. uh, it also still lets you have those situations where it's like, okay, I don't have to do hair basement because I know it's the compass kind of thing. Right. Ooh, that was a risky spin, but knocks out Moldorn. Hoping for not a compass. It's a gun. That sucks. But we get crystal number one, so we're part of the way there. Leaves an item in the basement. No fire source. And we see the potion glitch over on Taylor's side. And yeah, those mitts are great, because now Pool can just do Dark Death Mountain while he's over here, yeah. too. Like, That's very like convenient. The perfect opportunity. So, our mountain access, I mean, I, I think flippers have to be nearby somewhere at this point. I mean, or you find the mirror, and all of a sudden that hookshot's yeah, kind guess, of... Yeah, I guess that's, that's true. Yeah, because we have the lamp now, right? So that does put the climb into logic. Looks like Talon was trying to do that cool little Samaria extension. I don't even know what. It... Save and quit. What? Uh. Cool float. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? That doesn't make uh, any it's sense. Made, may just not have realized it. You know, you get mitts and you're like, oh, well, I can do Ice Palace now. Maybe I'll just do that. I, I don't know. I guess. Boy, pot sucks. This sounds like a bit of a whoop. But a bit of a mistake there. Don't worry, Taylor, I'll teach you the block thing. It's, um... I, I'm i sure you could do it, reset it on the right side of the drop, but... You can set it anywhere. Uh, like, the, the Samari block can literally be anywhere on the screen. It doesn't oh, matter. Okay. Is it just a weird combination of placing a block and then dashing from a ledge? Is that it? Yeah. Yep, that's all it is. Into a stair? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know the actual mechanics of it. I just yeah, know that you just drop strange. a block and then dash from the ledge and you go right through it. I feel like Talon's going to find something good in here, right? Like a big key, maybe? No, no, Pod's awful. Like a pizza? Like a dollar? Like a green rupee. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. I think that I, they've also seen both map and compass, so there's going to be an item on the boss. Oh, bug net. Oh, bug net. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. Wow, that's that's stunk. That actually stunk. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm like, I, I don't know if I really love that play. Like, I, I get the re potential reasoning for it, but uh, I mean, we have a lot of overworld stuff to do. Like, let's get some more items before we start tipping dungeons like that. As somebody who is probably going to be running uh, Champions Hunt for our team, Taylor, <laughs> yeah. you got you got to do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> But who knows? What if it paid off huge? What if a bow was in there? You know, the classic. That's true. Bow what if bow. Catfish had the bow? Well, Catfish... No. Catfish never <laughs> has anything. What are you talking about? Catfish sometimes has something. Don't put, I remember don't put that evil out there. There's a, there's a, there's a like main tournament qualifier from a year or two ago where everyone was scrambling for a second sword because there was none at, like on in GT or on the climb and there was just one sitting at Catfish. There, there's like one on Bumper Ledge, one on the pedestal, one on Catfish, and then the first one was available somewhere else. Jesus, that sounds awful. That sounds about right. But the real question is where was the hookshot? And was it in Hammer Pegs? Uh, that one it was not. Aww. I... Uh, did Pool Float actually check what was in here when he was up on the mountain? I don't remember, but uh, only 10 No, because well, he, he saved and quit at the bottom after getting dead rocked. And, and then, then never went up, right? I don't think. Okay. I see people do that, skip the spectacle cave check. Yeah, I, I think in Pool Float's case, it made sense if he was planning on beating Hera, then dropping down. Mm -hmm. um, but then, obviously, the mitts would have changed that. But, but then they it didn't. didn't. <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> well, I mean, then that if you do it that way, then you have the issue of Spiral Cave or Spectacle Rock. Yeah, cave. that's true. And nobody that's ever skipped Spiral Cave has been punished for it, right? No, absolutely not. I've never 
never experienced that before. Looks to me like Skull Woods was a bit of a bust. All the dungeons are just terrible. So far, yeah, just, just do Overworld, forehead. Right, there is the Desert Big, followed by 50 bucks, and the Eastern Big. Well, I'm, I'm sure we'll see the, um... Oh, we, we might even see Hair Basement from Talon. Um, maybe. I think... I think you clear ah. it, and then you consider going back in, because you don't want to do Hair Basement for a... Uh, oh, yeah, you definitely don't do sure. it immediately, <laughs> yeah. I think I think those mitts open up so much, though, that I would just be like, eh, see you later, Hair Basement. Yeah, that's fair. And who knows, you might just skip a big key for a dungeon that you weren't going to beat anyway, so... Right. That's kind of the fun part about this mode, is you don't have to get everything. There are stuff exactly. that you can yeah. skip, and there are more things that you can skip than usual. Now, the real question is, where are our flippers? I'm still thinking Eastern. Eastern? Or Saha, maybe? Y yeah, that, that general area. Could be Agonist Kate. Mm -hmm. No, that guy. Forget <laughs> that guy. He's dead. That yeah. man is dead. He's been living in a cave for too long, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Living in a cave, smelling his own parts. That's what he says. That's just what he does. That is that is his that is what he's known for. I'm getting a Feast Town dip here from Pool. So far just dungeon items in the front. No Thieves Town big, so can't clear the dungeon, but get, hopefully get some actual items out of this dip. <laughs> I'm just really excited to see what is on East Death Mountain. Yeah, yeah I mean... The Dark World. It feels like there's gotta be something there. Mm -hmm. And if nothing else, I mean, you can at least get TR info, too. We'll happy this is all I can do for you. Not get a health refill there. Get this death work going. Um, I would not describe these community asyncs as me torturing people. Everyone can play this if they want. Yes, we, we've all been willing participants. It's not like they don't have a choice. I am not a monster. I promise. Oh, there oh. is the foe. Oh, okay. See, so now, so Pod looks a lot better for Pool now. Pod's looking... Pretty, pretty sexy right now. Eastern 2? Oh, man, can we just get a mirror and just knock them both out? Now the question is, will Pufo get that lamp first, or is he going to be doing both those in the dark? I feel like if, well, I guess it depends on how you're planning on going to pod. We don't have a flute, so I would probably start at 4 and then check Pyramid Ledge before going to pod. 4? Is that... Link's house. Link's house. Alright, oh, right. See, maybe if he didn't already have done Hype Cave, I think I consider that. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, and Pool Pullet had already done uh, Digging Games. That's where the, the TR big was. Usually, like, you start at Village of Outcast, you Digging Game, and then you grab the Smith, but... Right. You don't got it! You already did it! Also, it is impossible to not waste time leaving an exit when you plan on saving and quitting. Anyway, you always gotta leave oh, no. yeah, an exit and then save and quit. Your brain just doesn't move that fast. Yeah. You have to be like, oh right, yeah. All right, what's I next? Can't... Oh right, nothing here. Yeah, leaving. I can't even count the number of times I've mirrored out out of a dungeon just to save and quit. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes just that extra couple seconds lets your brain figure out what's next. That's a lot of people do stuff like that. Like, I do the, like, in cross keys and stuff, um, it, yeah, I walk into an entrance and then just, like, slash my sword for no real I reason other than it gives me a second to, like, think about whether I want to keep going yeah. in or not. It's usually, like, K45, uh, hammer mm -hmm. pegs. I walk in, slash, and then I leave. It gives yep. me just an extra bit of time to register what that item is and if I want it or not. Oh, Talon can go into TR here. Yeah. Shame they don't have that Finally. big key from uh because you yeah. know if the keys line up, you could maybe get all the way to Lazy Bridge. Maybe. Talon finally do 
doing a map check. Also gross is the mirrorless smith play. Ooh, we got a big key to Thieves Town. Oh, that's nice. And there's the fire, fire Oh, wow. Oh, this feels so bad for Pool Plug yeah, to no. do this. Yeah. Because didn't he go... Yeah, because he went and did he the did front He did Spiral and then save and quit. And then did, like, Thieves Town, Village of Outcast, Front of yeah. Smart Woods. That kind of stinks. All right, so Talon... So, let's see. Talon can do Skull Woods. He can do Thieves Town. He can do Ice Palace. He can do... Uh, well, that's it for now. But that is three crystals, one of which is red. So I might be looking at the five five crystals Plus play rings. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be the way to go. I mean, we are just a flute, potentially just a flute away from. Uh... From Meyer Axis? From clearing Meyer, as long as it's not Ether. Mm -hmm. But then Swamp is kind of eh. Missing yeah, Swamp's things. a little iffy. And then, like, Pot, like a, a bow, we know Talon will, Talon will likely get a bow soonish here. Mm -hmm. So that'll give a clear of a Pot as well. And then, it's already got Hera. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, there you go. If, if Talon can find a book or, um, the flute. A flute and plus mirror, mirror yeah. then yeah, he's in go mode. <laughs> just like that. Alright, just to uh, recap what we saw over on Poopbolt's side, both uh, the Smith Delivery and Purple Chest were junk. We saw Powder sitting up on Desert Ledge for the Magic Bat check, and uh, Agnes Cave just dropping three bombs, so. See, I told you, that guy. Useless. Use I mean, this time, this time you were right, Gilgamesh. All right, looks like we're getting flippers finally. And it uh, looks like Pooflo's just going to go straight into pod here. Not going to get that lamp. Yeah, and Dark, uh, the Dark Turtle Room and pod can be a little treacherous without... Yeah, without a fire rod. Heart P, Heart P, Bugs, 10 arrows. Well, good thing we didn't go here earlier, right? Exactly. I feel like with this routing, I would have gone ahead and done Eastern and then... Oh, then yeah, you Eastern's turn green. green pendant too. Yeah, good call. But that's definitely one of those, like, ah, afterwards, you're like, ah, I should have done that. That would have saved me mm -hmm. a little bit of time. Man, I'm kind yeah, of... Uh, good um, here in TR. A little bummed that Talon didn't grab that TR big. I know, because... Who Cause knows? They, well, they did Hype Cave up to... Up to, uh, here a bit. Pyramid in the pod, right? Yeah. Oh, I know this song. It's in the NES. No, no, no. It's in the the Tomoko MSC pack that I use a lot. Sure. It's either that or the NES mix pack. One of the two. It's good too. All right. Let's see what we got in Eastern here. Talon's gonna get stopped in TR here shortly. Just kind of hoping for something stupid to be in here, but compass is pretty stupid. That's pretty stupid. Not that kind of stupid. I meant you know funny, <laughs> like good, good stupid, but funny. Oh, uh, imagine if book just ends up being on Laser Bridge. I'm just trying to think what's the one thing that like could stop this train from a rolling. I guess like what if? Because you were saying we have Hera, we have Pod, we have Skull, we have Thieves. Right, and we have ice. I mean, we t technically we can't do ice without flippers, but like who flippers cares, aren't right? somewhere currently yeah. available. So if that we hasn't assume stopped ice, us before. I guess it still logically depends on where the big key is. But like that, there is a possibility that we need to get those five crystals to get into GT to get our book to do desert or something like that. Right. Yeah. That'd be kind of gross. Now, is this um, fast scan or slow Ganon? Fast cannon. Okay. Because in this mode, GT Big Key is locked in the GT Big Chest. Oh, Therefore, okay. the climb is yeah. unavailable. Okay. So, thank goodness, because the climb yeah. is not fun. No, thank you. Man, I like the, the fast cannon part of it. I, yeah, uh, I mean, that would also make it light, because then you'd, okay, well, you you have to have a bow, and you have to have a yeah, hook exactly. shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to have a 
Well, I mean, you're a cheater. No cheaters. No cheaters allowed. I definitely feel like for a mode like this, finishing out with beating up Ganon is a Whoa, satisfying way to do it. Yeah, yeah to just I, I think talking to a guy. I like the Ganon fight. I enjoy the Ganon fight. I don't mind doing the Ganon fight. Unless now, this master sword still in the list, then I don't like it. Right. But... Now, I, I would have a different opinion if, like, a C I play just, like, hit all the swords for me. Like, worst case yeah, scenario, yeah. you have to get five crystals to go into GT Basement just to get your second sword. Right. And it's too really good. Your, your, all, all your swords are in the third Triforce piece, <laughs> you know, dungeons that you decided not to go for. Mm hmm. I feel like this mode just generally has the opportunity to be really easy or extremely nasty. This zone so, so far seems pretty tent, pretty, yeah, pretty tame. We I have think. not found those flippers yet, so they could be on our most still because we know the lamp is in logic. Mm -hmm. uh, could be catfish. Um, catfish would be funny. I feel like we've done basically everything else in Overworld at this point. Yeah. A completed Skull Woods, another crystal for Thalen. Uh, not really finding, just got Heart Container in the back. I don't know if uh, the other item is an actual item or not. We're gonna go back in for that one. Or... Let's see if this armless fight from Pool Float. Yeah, dungeons have just not been friendly at all this seed. Green Pendant. Maybe Green, green Pendant is our flip. <laughs> it could be. Also, while we're at this point, I just want to give a big shout out to both uh, Talon and Pulpo for offering their uh, playthroughs to be restreamed. Thank you so much. I believe both of them are in chat, so. Hi! And uh, yeah, of Hello. course, uh, if you want to support these runners and also support my co com, Gilgamesh, uh, I have. There, ten arrows on Saha. Yeah, you have it. my ten arrows. There it is. Oh, man. Uh, you can click their names in the title of the stream. Give you a little pop-up box if you want to follow their channels. Go check them out. Otherwise, if you're watching this on YouTube, which you will be eventually, you can. Uh, you have to. It's it's click, the law. Uh, the links in a pinned comment below. Huzzah! Where are these flippers? Catfish. Catfish. I mean, I'm struggling to think of where else they could. I mean, I guess they could be on Helma, right? Because none of our stuff to get to Helma was on the mountain. True. Um. Helma's still a possibility. Other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot left. We. Mm, did Pool Float check Stumpy, right? Yeah. Because he ah. did Hype Cave up to a uh, right, right. digging game. So. I think that's... Uh, we have the back... We have... Well... Did we ever look at Lumberjack Ledge? Somebody did, right? Yeah, it was a hard piece. Okay. So yeah, I think Flippers... Flippers or... I get maybe Mirror? Mirror could be on Catfish as well. What does Mirror even unlock, though? Mirror will get us the mitts. It will get us up the mountain, right? Up to Hera. Uh, oh, yeah, mitts, yeah, yeah, yeah. With which would hammer, also yeah. give us, like, Thieves Town big, so... Right. If we find something important in the back of Thieves Town, that could give us more information about where other stuff is. Maybe. We'll find out. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, Talon's third crystal here. And is it also... Wait, did Talon not... Oh no, he did do school. It's like, what am I? <laughs> SW at? could mean Swamp Palace, and, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. You're, yeah, you're right. <laughs> SW, Skull Woods, SW, Swamp. Swamp. Nobody says Swamp Palace. Everyone just says Swamp. Uh, I call it, uh, what is it? Oh, it's not called Swamp Palace in. Do you ever have the original NES, uh, Super Nintendo copy of the game and they had that little, like, hint booklet? I wish I still had the booklets, but no, I don't have those. But uh, I know a lot the, of the names they had... the dungeons all weird things, like Thieves Town, they call, like, Gargoyles Domain, and, yeah. like, a bunch of other... 
and isn't Misery Mire like the Swamp of Misery or something? Yeah. Misery Mire is more of a swamp, but I guess a Mire Skeleton is, Forest. Mire and a swamp are kind of similar. Do they call it Hera's Tower instead of Tower? No, Hera? I think that one is just Tower of Hera. Okay. I believe that Light World Dungeons are. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to mess those ones up. <laughs> Eastern Palace, it's the palace in the east. Desert Palace, yeah. it's the one in the desert. I'm surprised they didn't call it Mountain Tower. <laughs> so the only new All information right. we're going to get is going to be these next couple checks over on Tail Inside, as well as what is on Helmasar. What do you think we're going to find? I think we're gonna find something. Fifty bucks. I. Mm. All right. Put on your. I don't think we're gonna your, find uh, anything in here. Put on your SG cap and give us the worst case, the worst loop you can think of. Uh, go. All right. Let's see. Well, uh, what can we find Book. here? Uh, well, uh, how about we find Ice Rod here, and then Talon gets that uh, TR Big Key, and then that's to go on Trinex to get... Uh, mm -hmm. I like it. I'm listening. Something. We'll see. Trinex to get our mirror, maybe? To go get our book. No, no, no. Try next to get uh, our blue cane so we can get book from Spike Cave. I'm listening. I'm, 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 I'm then, listening. And then, uh, and then the book leads to something on Bombos to, I don't know. You're, you know, you're not used to this. I get it. That's why it's a little, yeah. little, little yeah. tough for you. You know, a lot. There's some people in in, in uh, free stream chats that can just spew this nonsense out. Like I only play nice seeds. Like they've know. been thinking about it for the last like I, ten hours. I don't like to think of the worst case scenario for the runners personally. Right now, pool boat's but, having to do the real challenge of dark turtles, which is a real pain in the ass with this setup. It, you, it, having the bombos does help, though. It does. I wish I I would much rather have ether though, because ether I think still kills the turtles if they're flipped over. But yeah, I mean, if you if you time it right, you can just get four right off the bat there with the bombos. Okay, third bombos is a charm. Thing in Thieves Town? It's the ice I... rod. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I swear Don't I didn't mean it. <laughs> putting that evil out in the world. I mean, that is another beatable crystal. Uh, yeah, it is. So, so, once Talon gets that big key. Which, I don't know how you don't when it's just right down no, here. No, he's gonna, he's gonna get the bow, he's gonna get the big key. Made it to Helma. Nicely done, full flow. Actually, so what you could do is, so you have Hera, you have Swamp, you have Thieves Town, which was which is going to light up on Talon's tracker shortly. Here, you see, there you go. Oh wow, magic! Um, you could beat Ice, and then you can go to TR and get Crystal Number Five and go into GT. True, and just uh, you know look for that desert access item, yeah, whatever that is. That's probably what. <laughs> That's probably what I would do. I mean... Yeah, I mean, what are your other options here? <laughs> There's the flippers. Well... All right. We did say they could be there. What, and the funny thing is, right now, they they do get us a big key, but I gotta assume that that big key is probably just gonna be, like, Ice Palace or yeah, something. Yeah, like, there's literally nothing that that big key... Like, all the keys we don't have are useless at this point. Like, Ice Palace, Skullwood, Swamp, we don't, we don't need any of those. Mm -hmm, for sure. I don't even know how many items are left in Skull. That's the tough thing is when you have a shuffled big key, it's like, oh man, did I leave a... What did I leave in Skull? Do I actually care about the big key to go back and check it? Because I've definitely, mm -hmm. like, run back to Skull Woods and got, like, a map or compass. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Matt, we're at a... This is at a really interesting part of the seed. And it, it, it makes me wonder if, uh... This seed is kind of forcing our runners a very particular direction or not. 
Because like, yeah, like you're think... saying is like, you know, right now we have access to at least five crystals to get a good. Yeah, GC. let's see what Talon does plan on getting this big key. Because I would like maybe consider just saying, all right, I'm just gonna rush GT and go for it. Yeah, which especially... it looks like that might be the case here, considering he's saying peace out to the Smith. Would not be thinking about um, Smith Chain at all at this point, just because Mirrorless Smith is a stinker. It's gonna be interesting to see what else is in GT. That could also change what route we take after. You know, you might be able to just go into GT and yeah, I mean, try there's nothing and go. stopping both the flute and the mirror from being in GT, given that Swamp Palace and Meyer are both pendants. And given that it's only five crystals open, but yeah, this looks like Talon had. And... Nope. Wow. Nobody wants to do what Ice Palace. Nobody wants to do... Is this actually going to be Saha Green Pendant or Eastern? I think or... this this has to be just Pod, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't think you do. Like, you're clearly not going Pendants here. I think. I could see Pool Flow just go Ice Palace next. Which yeah, I mean, for Hool, it's 100% logic, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I would be surprised if Talon does Eastern here. Pool Flow having a little bit of trouble with that hammer jump. Yeah, this looks like just straight to Pod to clear that out. So, I mean, maybe maybe just not assuming, maybe just going to ignore Ice and do TR as crystal number five, and then, depending on what he finds in GT, determine what he was looking for for the second Triforce yeah. piece. I mean, it's an interesting situation just because it's like, uh, I mean, we could even see Tail and just do this, could even go do Ice and then just go straight to GT as well. Yeah, I mean, he could also be hoping, like, maybe, yeah, do it does Ice hopes he finds the book along the way and then just, you know, finishes things up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd make more sense to focus on the red crystals, because that would require less items to clear. Right. Compared right. to, like, if you're gonna ran if you're gonna shift to pendants. Yeah, that's the thing, is, like, if you're planning on going up the mountain after this anyway, like, you don't really need to do pod. And it also makes sense to go beat dungeons you've already mostly beat as well. Because, I mean, Talon could also be considering the ability of goal mode in Ice Palace as opposed to. Hopefully yeah, but it I mean, key. Ice isn't that slow with. I what we mean, have. I don't it's know. It's not that bad. Go beat Pod and then go beat a PR you've already dipped at least once. Yeah, but there's all those fun items on Laser Bridge, and I think we found the map and compass, so it's all it's all good stuff down there. It's all goodies. The only thing we won't get is gonna be Mimic Cave. Yeah, but Mimic Cave doesn't have anything. All right, this is good. Pool Float is going up, doing Dark Death Mountain. Yeah, definitely not gonna feel great about picking this Fire Rod. And, no, not uh, at yeah. all. Yeah. Also of note, Pool Float still has not been back to the Zora area. So it doesn't have Samaria. Yeah. Um, but he does remember that there is a big key there, so it'll be a trip for two items. But Just again, question, uh, does he go for that? Is... Yeah, on Pulf's side, like, he, it could be that he used to have a big key, uh, but now. all the other big keys, he doesn't, yeah, and then now it's like, okay, well, I don't care about any of the other big keys that are left, mm -hmm. so why would I bother? That's true. I mean, there. Hmm. There's a possibility Pool Float does clear Ice Palace, leaves down Skull Woods, and then goes to T or goes to GT, and just hopes that the Triforce Beast is not Savaria blocked. Yeah, that's true. That's a lot in the middle, I mean. Oh, chat, we're just we're uh we're hypothesizing the possibilities because it is fun Anything to think about happen. all the different options runners have yeah. possibilities. And that is one of the interesting things about this mode is it, it is, you know, there's a lot of branching paths that take place in the middle of this scene where you're trying to figure out where you're gonna end up at the end of the day. Where are we going, pool? Going home. So this is gonna be 
pyramid ledge to cap? No. This, this is straight is... ice. It's a straight or Zora. Ice. I think I would just say forget it, Zora, at this point. Looks like Talon's also gonna go to ice as well. You have flippers. <laughs> I've done this. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, he did, like I don't even. Oh think that wow, was, that's a real good fake flipper. <laughs> I don't even think that would have been a successful fake flipper. No, okay. it wouldn't. <laughs> I just saw it on his webcam that he that he uh, figured it out. Oh look, he's going. The I don't know about this because then you have to dash back through the Zora. Nah, you I just save quit. Just save and quit. Yeah, but then you have to dash back to Ice Palace. Yeah, that's fine. No. Uh, I mean, it's gonna work out because he's gonna save like a minute of time in mm -hmm. Ice Palace just by having a cannon. And maybe this is the Ice Palace big key. I mean, that, yeah, big key would be nice. You know, who knows? Maybe Wolflo can find something of huge value in, uh, oh, no, <laughs> silver. Oh, okay. Uh, something of huge value in that big chest. I mean, I'm just hoping that these runners give us a photo finish that is completely different from one another mm -hmm. somehow, but I feel like maybe it's going to play out pretty similarly. Yeah, it seems it's like swapping. we're getting funneled into five crystals, two of which are red. Mm -hmm. But you never know, maybe books like Deep Independent Dungeon Yeah, like, maybe books just have... sitting in swamp. Well, no, because then yeah, and then the flute's nowhere to be found. Uh, I mean, who knows? Yep, a lot of possibilities still. Alright, so Pool's heading back over here. Probably gonna clear Skull Woods and Thieves Town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, Talon's got a pretty good lead going here. Clear this yeah, out, just... and then rush GG. Gotta find that last piece, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, at this point, TR is only really useful for the items. Like, you wouldn't even need the... You don't really... You don't need yeah, the I think you're just at this point. going straight into the basement first, and then if you find nothing in the basement, then maybe you go into TR? Mm -hmm. I am curious if uh, Talon's decision to go back to Pod was simply because, oh, I've already done all of it, so it'll be a quick crystal. Or if it's, like wanting to find that logical progression. Yeah, maybe. I, yeah, because, like, doing TR as your fifth crystal would have been better value just to mm -hmm. get all those items on Laser Bridge versus the one on Helma. Also, another thing is I would have liked to have seen Full Float do Thieves Town into Skull as opposed to the other way. Just and then save and quit in the back, yeah. Yeah, just you're not back walking out back through Skull Woods. Right. Anything else gonna be in this ice palace that's gonna change the entire trajectory? No, because dungeons are terrible. Oh. <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> Talon, this is like the most free bomb jump in the game. What are you doing? <laughs> Can confirm it was for the quick crystal. All right, thanks, Talon. Now we know. It makes sense, you know. Quick trip back in. Get an easy crystal. Compass. No big keys, so ain't checking that big chest. Yeah, no, we haven't found anything in here, which, which has been the theme of the seed so far. Which makes me think that the seed probably wanted you to do TR into GT rather than ice. Logically, oh. Since it's not yes, logically yeah. beatable. Oh, yeah, 100%. So it kind of makes you wonder what is in what is on ice bridge at this point. It's gotta be goodies, 20 right? bucks. 20 bucks. 10 arrows. 20 bucks. Shovel. A peanut. <laughs> Interesting going for the bombos while having half magic. <laughs> Look at all that magic you could have spent. I mean, I'm talking, we're talking small, small fractions of time, but. Oh, full float setting up a water walk here. Looks like we're going to get a catfish check. Think. Nope, never mind, just kidding. Dashing 
Okay, just, maybe that was just an actually, actual bonk. Sorry. I just, you know. <laughs> I just assumed. Imagine just inadvertently doing a cool setup <laughs> without, without noticing. I, and why would he? He has flippers. I forgot. <laughs> what are you talking about? He also forgot. That's true. Everybody's forgetting. Except for me. Alright. So we're heading up to GT. Uh, the thing about this mode, as a reminder, is that the GT big key is not available. It is locked within the big chest, so we are just going to be looking for the other items within GT basement. So, you know, style post room, rando room, compass room, tile room, uh, past ice armos, all them Your goodies. Guess is in chat. Where's the Triforce piece going to be? The Triforce piece <laughs> can be anywhere in the basement, which is... Honestly, one of the things that I don't like about this mode, I'd rather it be... Would you just prefer just, like, be in Hope Room or something? I'd say Rando Room. I don't, it's tough because depending on what you say will determine what items are required to get to it, so... Right. If you... To change it, aside from putting it in just straight up Hope Room, would have a bit of an impact on how you play a seed. Put it on the torch. But, I mean... In its current state, you could go there without Samari, and it's like, oh, it was on the right side. I got hacked. Yeah. So. Which I don't necessarily think is a good thing. I don't mind it. I mean, it's, you know, sometimes you have to make the gamble there, but. Sometimes you just gotta, you just get hacked. Just the yeah. way it is. I mean, that's, that's random. That's random, baby. Alright, I'm ready to see what's in this Gans Tower. Because, you know, at this point, we're probably going to find progression beyond just a Triforce piece. And it kind of has to be. We don't even have that much left otherwise. Hey, Triforce piece. Ooh, this is tough. It'd be so tough not to want to just leave. I mean, and do what, though? Go to TR for the real progression. <laughs> <laughs> so, at this point, we just want to find a book. That's it. Book would be the yep. best thing to find. Book and we're good to go. Yep. Punk there. I liked it. It was unexpected. Small key. Small key. Three bombs. And. Small key. Small key. Wow. Ooh, are we rando rushing here? We're just going full left. Full left, open up the forbidden door, I guess... and then go right. <sighs> I guess there's no real benefit to, like, doing any particular route here if you're not looking for just the big key, because I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Also, random rush is kind of hard without a mirror. This is true. This is a good point. Imagine being a GT without a mirror. <laughs> it's it's happened. It's tough, especially when you, like, go through the right Maybe portal we'll and you're like... Maybe we'll get to see the fabled middle door here. Oh, I would assume so. I've definitely found myself past the, the, the teleporter on the right side, and like, mm -hmm. oh, right, now I have to death warp, <laughs> and I have way too much You have to fall down that thing 14 times, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's small key. Alright, full float, picking up another crystal here, so this goes to number four. Yeah, so the question is, will full float go TR or Ice Palace for that fifth crystal? I think you do ice because it's red. It just it opens up more options yeah, for you. I think it's a better choice than TR for sure. It's red mail. Big twenty. Yeah, still nothing. Dungeons are terrible. Dungeons. Should have bailed after that Triforce piece. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Go do some mirrorless Smith chain. That's where your answer is. <laughs> also, is Tail and Sprite? Is that Ridia from FF? It is. FF four. Yeah. Okay. I've not played that game, but I recognize this sprite. And, uh, we got silvers out of ice, which is good. Silvers will help us yeah. beat up Ganon quickly. GT, what a stinker. Mm -hmm. A book. Literally. Yeah, just book? the item that nobody ever wants to find, we're looking oh. for. Or a flute plus mirror. 
Yeah, because you, you do not want to end up going for Ted, ever, at this point. No. It's the worst situation. We got a compass. We got a map. Get him. We got a 20. Got 20 bucks. Oh, it's going to feel bad oh. if it's just sitting over him. <laughs> oh, let's go, middle door. Middle door, middle door. Things you only see without mirror. Shield. shield. Well, now we can do a laser bridge. Hmm. See, th this would be a situation where I would just be feel I'd be feeling so bad. Yeah, I mean, it's full clear in GT basement sucks. It does, but I mean, you know, twenty-two checks. Like you're gonna, it's... You, you should find. You're something. gonna do it. Oh, well, yeah. it's it's one of those situations where you're kind of wishing the the, the triforce piece was later. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when you're when you're sword fill mode and you go into GT and the big key is like almost instant. Right. Or container. Uh, There's the they, Oh Ooh. no. <laughs> At least you get the mirror out of here. So there's that. Skip and tile room. I think that's fine. Because so now you are one you you have multiple single outers here, right? Yeah. Flute's go mode and book is also go mode. So now you go do Mimic Cave, TR Big Chests, Crystal Roller, Laser Bridge, all that good stuff. Yeah, and then you go in the Swamp Bucket. Yes. I guess. I mean, you could do Smith Chain. Now that we got the mirror, it makes it a little less terrible. But I think Swamp is just better value at this point. Mm -hmm. And who knows? Maybe you do swamp and all you find is the flute. And then you just yeah, go. Uh, just which go. is fine. Then you're good. Yeah. Then you, it's like, oh man, do I go beat desert or do I go beat mire? Ah, uh, you beat desert because yeah, it's way faster. <laughs> way faster in Pyramid Ferry and Ganon is not much better. The only time you'd want to do like pet would be as if. Well, no, you never want to do pet. No, basically. Pet bad. I still think this mode, outside of Ganon Hunt, like it's just a regular Triforce hunt, would be better that it just warps you to the Triforce room once you find the other piece, because they are generally in specific spots. Mm -hmm. I think it would make Endgame a little bit more interesting than having to run back and talk to a guy. And I, I mean, it's a, just a minor change, but... Having to talk to the guy kind of always forces you to route the end game pretty much. I the hate same. having to talk to the guy because it's real hard for me to talk to the guy and also click dot done at the same time. <laughs> I guess having a centralized location to go to is a little bit easier to set up a you know your dot dones and all that stuff. Right, there is Chris number five for Bull. So do we think pool goes into TR or just go straight to? I mean, you probably just go straight to GT, right? Yeah, you would go straight to GT, and who knows? Maybe pool just grab that mirror and avoid TR at all costs. And maybe pool rushes tile room and finds the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a possibility. All we're looking for right now is flute or book. Either will give us our beatable desert. Stupid TR. Ooh, where are we going? Front of Hyrule Castle? <laughs> uh, I don't like that at this point. Oh, I mean, man, you're an hour or two minutes in. You gotta be wondering what the heck is in here, right? Turns out, nothing. Cause he never, he still never got his flute either, or his, uh, sorry, his lamp. Not that that matters right, right. at this point. You, you'd be playing around that. I think the lack of lamp is making him wonder because you know mountain is not in logic still for him. Yeah, I guess that's true, but yeah, I don't know. At this point, you're so close. I, I think you just play. I on, would just keep playing on yeah. the seasons break. I have a feeling we're not going to get anything out of this TR, but... No, it's impossible. Oh, there we go. Oh, Finally, something. Nice. 
I mean, it makes sense. There's, hey, there's the logic. We'll Trinex. There is an item on Trinex. You've come this far, you might as well defeat. So de after defeat a PR here, I mean, I guess you just go straight to. So we do have Spike Cave up here as well. Yeah, but we still don't. Don't you still need at least cane or cape? Yeah, I think so. We have hair basement. <laughs> do we though? I don't I think mean, we do. Well, I don't think that place exists. Alan's got both tile rooms over there. You can just knock them both out right now. Well, that's a good point. Okay, well. I'm gonna go see Dark Cross, I guess. And then. It has to be up to the mountain for pool after yeah. this, I think. I'm here to see where Talon's going after this. I what think is... Talon just goes to the swamp. Talon is a, a swamp rusher, or he's going to go right there. What? <laughs> hey, now we can get definitely get him tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing stopping us now. This is great. Did he not even pick up the crystal? Probably not. I guess there's no point, right? You yeah, you don't really need it now. at this point. It doesn't do anything other than get you a refill. Are we going Eastern? Oh, we're... oh I don't like this. We're going Eastern, baby. <laughs> no, I don't like this at all. Talon's already thinking, oh man, I'm going pet. Change You're trying to avoid. Why would you ever do that? Because the item that gets you your last pendant also gets you desert. <laughs> Swamp has more items than Eastern. I don't know. I think. I mean, this is the green pendant, so you have four or five, whereas Swamp is going to have, what, seven? I don't know. I, maybe it's actually fairly comparable. It's, it's a tough thing because it's one of those situations where it's like, do I chase later spheres or do I act on previous spheres and see how punished I, I am for putting these off? Yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, tough. I don't know. You go in here and you find a book and you're like, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> but, I mean... That's the tough thing. I've, I've, I've had so many situations in racing where I, I've made the play of, like, I'm just going to yeah. keep pushing later spears because I, I that think... has to lead to something. And then you find out that you're... Yeah. It's like Smith Chain was your answer. I'm like, God damn Yeah, I, would, I spent all that time in GT and got that. I would want to press that mirror, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, so, I'd be the same way as well. I would do, like, K45 Swamp and... and hope that what I'm looking for is in there. Now I'm curious to also see how much a GT will see from Pool Float. I, I mean, I have to imagine you do all of it here, right? I mean... Yeah. I wonder if he'll go right side first and can have that mirror ahead of time. I wonder if he'll check tile room. Because that would be interesting. Yeah. Maybe? There was nothing in Eastern, right? Not a nope. dang thing? Nope. It's all trash. There was a pendant. There was a pen. Which led to 10 arrows. That's your 10 arrows. That, those were my 10 arrows. Saha stole them. He hates his kids. So I'm, I'm looking at... Chat can't see it, but I can see it. But Saha's kids, there are, there are four kids. Who's the fourth Saha kid? Uh, So the fourth Saha kid is... Are, are you talking about, like, the... the, the our logo? Yeah, like who or, it represents, because uh, Talon's well, character's on the Malusha right. Gaia. <laughs> okay, and nobody plays as that character. No, no, okay, that's so just, he's just that, living, he's just in, there living in the I, reference, got it. I, I ripped the image and pasted our sprites over. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, the sprites are literally just covering up the other sprites over Yo. there. <laughs> okay, that makes more Listen, sense. Listen, I, I spent a lot of time coming up with that that's one, let me tell you. <laughs> I enjoyed playing uh, uh, that game almost as much as I enjoyed Terranigma, which is a, is a good game. 
Mm -hmm. uh, some would say the entire trilogy is quite good. Yeah. Definitely worth a playthrough if you haven't yet. We do actually have an unofficial fourth uh, house kid. It was uh, a rabid wombat who played in the multi world tournament with Talon and Pi this past year because I did not want to. So. I reckon it's the name. How are you guys feeling going into your uh, first league season in the invitational side of things? Um, feeling like. We're just gonna try not to get relegated. <laughs> it's yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any, um, you know, delusions of like winning invitational or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no secret that there are significantly better runners in, in the invitational. Um, but I think, you know, I think we'll you see. guys are gonna kill it. We'll see how we can do. I mean, it's really hard to know. predict the winners unless they yeah. have a very particular person on their team. I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not bad at this game. I'm, I'm pretty good, I think. So I feel like the people that have won the last few seasons of league are like the same people, or also relatively predictable. Yeah. So I, I need you guys to go in there and shake things up for me. I got, we, we got a shot to make some waves. I think you know, like said, we're, we're, Talon's, Talon's good too. Talon's uh, you guys main a tournament run runner in the, and in the, uh, in the open side of things last yeah. season, so it was really fun to watch. We will see. And plus, you know, it was, I, I keep hearing rumors about other team, other well-known teams not playing this year, so, you know, there's, yeah. there's an opening there. You never know. It's going to be especially interesting with uh, the, the co-op stuff for the playoffs. Yeah, I, I actually like that change a lot. I'm yeah, I would love to make playoffs specifically just for that, but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see what happens. Because I mean, for me specifically, my favorite part about league is the the, the co-op weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't really Agreed. care for the one v ones, and it's not just because I lost all my one v one races last season. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not true. I won my the only one I won was in the first round of the playoffs. I went. I guess I went one in one in three in one v ones last season. Which is not I think great, I won but... all of my until that last week of playoffs that we lost. I think I won all my one v ones nice. last year. Yeah, the co-op weeks are really fun. Big fan. I'm a fan of most of them. I I don't love spoiler log. Oh, personally. but it's so interesting. It's so I, exhilarating. It is something. I wouldn't mind it so much if they would just make that dang log a lot easier to use. <laughs> True, it is kind of a pain. Gotta hit that control F quite a bit. Hey, look, we're in Swamp. Hey, look, I'm, we're doing Tile Room. All right, let's see. Watch both runners get something that gets them into death. Galen finds flute, Fool finds book. <laughs> yeah. That'd be the dream. It's just an execution battle. Twenty bucks. I mean, this could be flute here too, right? And then pool just continues on, gets smear, and then it's also good to go. Like, yeah. We will see. We still have <laughs> this far into the sea, and it's still like we have two options. We have two win conditions. And <laughs> gold sword. It's just a sword. Okay. Well, that's less exciting. That's the last thing you want to see when you're looking for your go mode item. Is yeah, you're like, I got tempered sword. silvers already. I did not need that. Uh, silver, finding silvers while you're still looking is it's fine. Finding gold sword, ah, it just seems like a slap in the face. It's like, how did I find four of one kind of item before I found? So Talon does not have that swamp pig key. Oh, not that... that was the one in Ice Star at Zora. Yeah. You think that's gonna play a part here? I doubt it, but you know, it, it's it does feel bad when you're leaving items behind. I mean, especially when you're you know one item away. There is the very ugh. oh good. There Perfect. is the very Just... rare situation of like actually full clear in the entire game, and then it actually last locating in this mode for your final progression piece. Mm -hmm. That would be impressive in a bad way. 
Wolf's gonna go for spikes. We'll have uh, health. Okay, it's a red potion. A red potion. <laughs> We've seen a little bit of diver down here in the back of swamp. We will be seeing some in a moment. <laughs> Eventually. Just a hard piece at Spike. Where are we going next, Pool Float? I'm surprised Pool didn't go to TR. He's probably thinking like you're thinking. Gotta chase that, uh, that item he got out of GT. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. No, well, it's, it's not. It's not in Swamp. <laughs> unless it's on the left side. I mean, you you have to go back in here, right? Like. Yeah. What is your other option? Unless, Smith chain? Uh, graveyard well, ledge? Well, you're not gonna go. I mean, you're not gonna not gonna Cat fake fish. Powder. So you do. You can hook shot across, do graveyard ledge, and then do mushroom turn in into camp. <laughs> that sounds yeah. awful. Fun. Man. We can do uh, pyramid ledge and finally get that mirror or uh, mirror uh, lamp. Is this... does this seed qualify as a stinker? Well, let's... let's see where that book and flute are first before... <laughs> okay. I mean, so far it hasn't been that bad, I don't think. It's also kind of crazy how much more... I mean, well, I guess at this point, the difference between the two runners is... Cool Flow doing Mirrorless Smith. And... Uh... Taylor doing all of TR. And some of Swamp. I feel like Talon's done a lot more right now. Yeah, because cool. Talon also double dipped Pot as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe Bold Runners will do left side Swamp at the same time and find their goods. <laughs> the dream! It's, is it the dream to find your answer on left side Swamp? <laughs> if you do it first, then yes. If it's yeah. the last thing you do in the entire seat, then. I always feel good when I do left side swamp and I find something. Oh yeah, it feels great when you do it. And mm -hmm. that, but how often does that happen? And I still believe. It, is, it depends a, on the mode. I believe in a future where left side swamp is junk filled and it, and it no longer becomes a uh, deciding moment in every single race that I watch. <laughs> oh, big chest, fifty bucks. Oh, we are going to the left side at the same time. All right. Come on, do it. I want to see the funny. I want to see both runners hit go mode at the exact same time. Or close to it, at least. Taylor will be there first. Oh, maybe. Actually, pool's going to be a little bit faster here, depending on this diver down. I hope no fire snake ruined it. Uh, oh! Uh, now it's locked in there with me. <laughs> with him. You gotta, you gotta drop the block there right away, and then it'll block the fire snake. All right, what do you think, book or flute or both? Uh, if we find something here, I'm gonna say flute. Flute. Or shovel. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we still have Mushroom turn. Yeah, we sure do. Listen, they can get the flute and they can go turn the Mushroom. Lickety split. That's true. And very fast. And... <laughs> That's us. not it. Okay. I guess this bad oh, way ain't man. all that. So... Is okay, it a stinker I'm Talon now? right now. What am I... I'm gonna say yes. Given what Talon has checked and what is left, I'm gonna say yes. This is probably a stinker. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a Brew Crew Async if that wasn't the case, right? I don't know what you're talking about. So we still have Graveyard I mean, Ledge, Mushroom Turn, and Catfish. I don't think last week's swap keys was too bad. No. I don't either. But I also killed it, so, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm bad, because the seed itself wasn't that bad, <laughs> It's a tough mode if you're. Uh, it's uh, my you brain hurt if, if doing that one. It, yeah, I I love I love the engagement. It was interesting for sure. That was the, for my first time doing it though, and I was like, uh, I I paused more than I've ever paused doing a cross mm -hmm. use before. 
So you're like, where is this? I think I had, this? like, four minutes of menu time or something. I think, to this <laughs> for me, aside from just, like, memorizing where certain locations are, the tough part about swap keys, for those who don't know what swap keys is, it's the, uh, the swapped entrance shuffle where entrances swap with one another rather than fully shuffled, is when you have connectors swapping with connectors, it can get mm. really fuzzy. Hey, big oh, key. Oh, good. Terrific. How are you going? Skull Woods? Great. I mean, Skullwood's Big Chest, Smith Chain, for Talon, probably yes. makes some sense here. I really hope the answer is just Catfish, because that'd make me I kind of do, too. Because I feel like that might be where Pool Club heads next after this. Because then I'm going to be mad that I didn't play this seed, because I would have done Catfish right off the bat. Or I'd have played the Dark Club. If I played this seed, I would have won. I would have played it perfectly, I yeah. I would have like... made every right choice. Uh, basically. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's going to be... I don't I even mean, know if we have... don't have that much left. I don't even know if there are still items in school with either. Oh, we're going to check Graveyard Ledge first here. Okay. Okay. If it is just catfish, then that's really funny. Because <laughs> we've had access to that catfish yeah. since. Then I would not call the seed a stinker. Since we left Kakariko. It's totally fine. Just oh, means yeah. we got a bunch of catfish haters on restream. Yeah. But yeah, I, I can see Pool Flow just dashing up. Maybe even taking the portal. Ah, it's oh, there glitch. it is. Right. All right, that's go mode for Talon. Just has to go beat up Lamolas. What if Flute's on Catfish? I wonder if we'll ever know. Let's go. Check your 45. Yeah. I would have done this before Swamp because you're one item. Yeah. Your mode. Oh yeah. yeah, for sure. I've definitely had a seed in the past where it's like I just need ice. Like I just need ice rod. That's also not a great spot to put your mirror. <laughs> Unless he's not going back in. Ooh, what are we doing here? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hmm, I hope this... I can't imagine this is like... This is just bashing up to the Dark World portal here to, to like... To go to Graveyard Ledge? Graveyard Ledge Catfish. I mean, that'd be a, a really good play. Yeah. Not the route I would have taken, probably, because I would have, like, tried to combine Graveyard Ledge with Mushroom Turnin' and Catfish. Right. Dark well, I mean, like you said, he, wanted, he wants to push that mirror, right? So... That's fair. I mean, it's gonna work out. Yeah. You two are exactly right. I should have chased the mirror right away. Mirror Overworld to Swamp was a much better play. Yeah, I mean, it's tough because Graveyard Ledge is just such an ice. Yeah, I don't know check, that I would have so. done Graveyard Like, K45 before Swamp, yes, I don't know that I would have done Graveyard Ledge before Swamp. Like, that's a I tough mean, call. Swamp is chasing the mirror, yeah. so. I definitely would have done K45 for the Swamp and then Pride and then gone to Graveyard Ledge. But, like I said, if I was, like, in Pool Float situation, you know, you do K45 in the Swamp and then I would dash up, finally get my Lamp. <laughs> <laughs> off yeah. the pier of it, and then I'd go up, uh, hookshot across to Graveyard Ledge. Graveyard Ledge to Catfish, yeah. Graveyard Ledge to Mushroom turn into Catfish. So. But, yeah, Pool is now also in go mode, so... Not too far behind. No. He's got that gold sword advantage. Oh, man. Talk about time save. Oh, yeah, still, I mean, it's a bit of a time gigantic. save. It's a time as, save if you don't mess up. Who, it's a time yeah, save if say, you don't mess up. That's the that's the important as, part. That's uh, Palin does not uh. Just gotta let, let's see nailed. how these arrows doesn't, fly. Doesn't have his one and ones nailed down yet with tempered. So. So. I'm not trying to call him out or anything. I'm just calling him out. Definitely I, for that first year. I don't know if Talon did it. I usually you bonk. Then you move to the right, and then you move up a tiny bit before you shoot left. Oh, interesting. Thing. Hmm. But I, you could also just, if that was just a mere timing thing. Alright, so now we have to go do Pyramid Fairy. 
Pyramid Fairy into Ganonhold. You have to remember which chest in Pyramid Fairy has the strong <laughs> I wonder if... I want to see one of these seeds where the other item in Pyramid Fairy is your other progression. That would be funny. Book is just in Pyramid... Well, in this case, it couldn't have been, but, you know. Right. Well, this is certainly uh, a seed of the ages. It, of all the Duruku Acings, this was certainly one of them. The, uh, yeah, the 26th one of them, to be precise. Mm -hmm. uh, we have and now Acings are cancelled forever after this, right? Is that the... Uh... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, you know, depending on how long Dumbathon lasts. If Dumbathon never ends, then the Acings will never come back. Now, the plan sure. is I'm going to probably bring them back sometime towards the end of the month so people have time to play it and then once Stealth Thumb's over I'll, mm. I'll get back in it. But just assume it's going to be two weeks off from, from a new seed being posted. But it's going to be nice. You know, it's kind of nice not having to think about it. These are really fun to do and they're really easy to set up and it helps that I have a good chunk of people that play these. Yeah, so I no, I to choose from, so. enjoy them when I have the opportunity to do them. At some point, I would like to explore Asyncs of uh, other games, not just Link to the Past Rando, but I feel like for the most part, that's why. That's what the people oh, want. Tail, you don't need this bond refill. Come on. Oh, but you need that boomerang. Though. Well, yeah, obviously, you open the chest. But <laughs> that gotta, could have been Gold Sword. You gotta get the funnies. I don't really want to know where that flute was, though. I wonder if anyone else found it. I mean, Catfish. Yeah, Catfish. Where else? Where else can it be? Uh, I don't, I don't know how many items are left, Double maybe, chest? no, we saw those on full side. Oh, did we? Uh, we got confirmation in chat that it was the Ice Palace Big Chest. <laughs> That's incredible. My goodness. So that was, uh, that Ice Palace Big was off the Mushroom in Swamp, so that was never gonna happen. No, yeah. the Mushroom, the Mushroom Big Key was, uh, Skull Woods. Was it? Yeah. Um, Ice Palace Big Key was uh, oh, Laser, Laser Bridge. Bridge. Yeah. Gotcha. So if there is a way, you know, if you had routed... Wow, imagine doing TR first before yeah, Ice Palace. Yeah, if, if you did TR into GT and then got the Big Key and then went to Ice Palace after? Yeah. That's a, that's a game changer. I didn't think about that. Oh, man. Alright, let's see this, these, these cheeky little Ganon fights. I feel like walking the bomb to Pyramid Fairy before you can fight Ganon just feels like a slug. It's like, I just want to go fight the guy. I want to fight the pig. I don't want to do anything else. Oh, tail. A little slow Please. on that slash. Who gets another Oh, you got the, the slash. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna do it. That's a dead pig. Rip pig. GG's. GG's to Taylor. I know this doesn't mean too much because this, you know, the idea of these isn't that it's a race, just more so collective of people playing the seeds. But anyway, you get a little Triforce next year. Yay! You did it. Congratulations. All right, let's uh, let's watch Pool Flow dunk on some Ganon, and then we can uh, read some comments from the runners. About the seed. Uh, have a good laugh. Oh. Dee -doo -dee -doo -dee. <laughs> good song. <laughs> yes, good job, Taylor. I am very proud. We just got to work on that uh, Tempered Sword one and one. I mean, it's it, we're talking seconds here, right? You know, just, uh, just, yeah, just yeah. make up time elsewhere. It's fine. <laughs> Just don't get sniped by three seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always glad well, to have um, fresh oh, faces. Huh? What, what is a, a full cycle? Like, a, like 10, 10 seconds? Something like that, maybe. On phase one? Yeah. 
But yes, like you're, yes, sorry, I interrupted. You were about oh, no, to say fine. how nice uh, it is to have new people run the asyncs. Yeah, and uh, Fresh Faces on the restream, this is, I think, only the second time Pool Float's been on here. The last time he was on here was, I think, async four, so it's been, yeah. been a hot minute. Um, More people should run these so you can stop putting my dumb ass on them. Yeah! I'm also open to people joining me on comms. I always, always makes it easier when I have someone to chat with, so. Uh, the opportunity is out there if you're interested. Just hit me up. Um, GG's pool float. Yeah. Finishing just only, only about two minutes behind here. Really not bad. And, you know, especially the fact that he never even touched TR. Yeah, well, I, I think it didn't have anything good. Well, actually, it did have something good. <laughs> it had a big year. Let's yeah. Just flip. <laughs> I think the the only unfortunate thing for pool float was not doing Dark Death Mountain afterwards. Yeah, that was that would have saved uh, quite a bit of time having that fire rod, and uh, there was something else there too. Uh, the thieves uh, town big was the other one. Yes, right. Uh, real quick, we do have uh, at least a comment from Wolfloat from in the Discord. He said, "Had I committed to Hyrule Castle skip like I had done for most of the seed, would have been a few minutes faster. Never found." Food, yeah, also so true. Mir and GT to then get book from Grave was my go. No lamp, no Meyer access, and stayed out of TR. Talon, who is in chat, uh, if you have any five-word comment you'd like to make about the seed, I will read it out loud. This is your chance to be to do something really funny, if you want. <laughs> make a good impression. <laughs> uh, Gilgamesh, tell me, I... what are you what are you up to these days? Uh, Shout yourself move, out. Move, moving. <laughs> no, I'm talking about cool I'm... stuff. Oh, I haven't been doing a whole lot of cool stuff recently, unfortunately, because I've been moving. Uh, but I do do restreams sometimes. Yeah, it's do probably do. not happening. Do do. <laughs> probably not happening tonight. But normally Wednesday nights we do Mr. Ed's Mystery Mayhem. Um, and then I, I am, you know, I play Cross Keys Tournament. I play League. Well, I will be playing League. Play Ladder. I play basically every tournament that pops up because I can't help myself. You have a, um, you have a problem. I do. I didn't play cast boots though. I, okay. I skipped that you one because I because I knew I was going to be moving around now, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to try to force scheduling for that. It was I had to for my cross keys match last week. I on Wednesday night I had just like pinged my opponent and said, "Hey, listen, I can do this tonight, or we're gonna have to async." That's basically all I got for you. So. Mm, gotcha. Yeah, that's tough to schedule around that kind of stuff. And moving is just a real pain in the, the tuchus. It is. But I got my setup set up again. So nice. that's good. Nice. Good deal. Well, thank you again for hopping on comms with me last of second. Of course. Always glad to have you. Um, and of course, thanks again to both Talon and Pulpult for letting me restream them. Thanks as yeah, well. Yeah, check out the runners, people. To uh, everyone else that participated in Async 26. Once again, there's going to be a small break before Async 27. I don't even know what mode it's going to be. I got bigger fish to fry because I'm, I'm, man, I'm hungry. I could go for a little fish fry right about right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to support the runners, support my co-com, support me so that I can eat fish. Do it. And, Come back uh, on Friday for the start of Demathon. Yeah. We'll see you. We'll see you in the next one. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye.